Hi and welcome students. In this video I'm going to be talking to you about Microsoft Publisher 2016 and I'm going to be describing the publisher window. Whenever you open a publication you should see something that looks like this. Now I've opened a publication based off of a flyer that I created off of a template. So when you open up Publisher a couple things you're going to notice is it's set up a lot like other Microsoft Office applications. Up towards the top you have your usual save undo and redo buttons as well as minimize maximize and close with the file name in the center of the of the window below that you have your ribbon just like in every other office application you have your tabs listed along the top and then the buttons listed below that below those are the groups all right so everything below that is slightly different depending on which office application you're using so in this one we're using publisher so I'm gonna start with the left side and then move my way to the right so the first thing that you notice along the left side is called the navigation pane okay the navigation pane will help you move along your pages uh, as far as this navigation pane goes you could see a preview or a thumbnail of any document that you have open if I wanted to say close or collapse the navigation pane I could do it by clicking right there on collapse and that gives me a little bit more room to work with uh, on my actual window area so I'm gonna leave that open for now the next thing you'll notice is that there's a vertical and horizontal ruler okay so vertical and horizontal ruler that will tell you where you're at along your page now I'm looking at a flyer page right here and so you can see it's eight and a half inches by 11 inches okay and so as I move my cursor notice that the ruler guides move along with me I could also take the ruler and disconnect it from here to drag it onto the page if I wanted to say measure something more specific by holding down shift and clicking and dragging to move the ruler all right so that's a little bit about the ruler so actually on the page here you're gonna notice this gray area this is called your scratch area if you had any objects like pictures or text that you wanted to put on your document but you weren't really sure where you want to put it yet this scratch area is a great place to hold it keep in mind anything in the scratch area will not be printed okay so before we get into the objects on the page I want you to keep in mind that the status bar is right down here at the bottom the status bar will tell you what page you're on and if you click on it it'll actually collapse the navigation pane completely so that you cannot see it and you can click it again to open it back up so that'll always tell you what page you're on as you move across your page notice that just to the right of that uh, page icon right here we see the object position if I move anywhere on my page it shows where my current cursor is at until I click on something in the page and then it'll show me the object position as well as the object size in width and in height as I move along the status bar here I see that I can scroll left and right using this and then also right over here I could see my view in a one single page or two page spread and then I could also use this area to move uh, the to the left and right to zoom in and out finally along the right side you can click this button show whole page to view the whole page at any time so that's a little bit about the status bar now let's go over what's going on on our actual page now remember you could still zoom in by holding the control button and scrolling up or down on your mouse wheel and that'll zoom you in and out of your document so I'm gonna go ahead and look towards the top of the document here and I want you to notice these blue lines that go around the page the blue lines are guides and these guides help you basically determine where your margins are at on the page keep in mind that publisher is a very uh, friendly program when it comes to moving things onto and off of your page and uh, those things that are going to be moved on and off of your page are called objects so for instance here it says product service information as I hover over it it has boundary lines around it and if I click on it I could then move my object on and off of my page okay and the margin guides help you decide uh, where you want to put those objects and they help you align with the margins as I move an object around you'll notice that the margins kind of uh, highlight as I get close to them and you can see that they snap into place making it very easy to move my images uh, and pictures and text boxes around this area so those are your margin guides uh, as well as your boundary guides other than that the last thing that you need to know is that at any time you can choose to view or to not view these things so you could go right here to the view tab 
And you can see that in the show group, you could view boundaries at all times, like you can see right there. You could build uh, view guides, which is on by default. You can view fields, rulers, which is on by default, navigation, and scratch area, which is all on by default. And then you could also view the graphic manager and the baselines as well. So remember, you could pretty much turn anything on or off depending on what you want to see at any given time. So Publisher, remember, it allows you to uh, really see what you want on the page at any specific moment, and you could always uh, edit those features in the view tab. So hopefully this has helped explain a little bit about the publisher window and what it looks like when you first get into your publication. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section and I'll be happy to try to help. Thank you and have a nice day.